I Starlink here. Today I'm going to be switching it to a 12 volt plug and play. I'm getting rid of this router and using my inverter and gonna hook it up to 12 volt. So stay tuned. Quick unboxing of the parts for the 12 volt conversion. This is gonna be the PoE injector with the power over ethernet. This is the plug and play for the uh, dishy to ethernet for that. This is the 12 volt to 48 volt um, up converter. This is the router I've chosen. And then this is gonna be the power for the router. The 12 volt to five volt for the router here to plug in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a switch on it as well. Let's see if I can put this switch on. Just a little on and off switch, basic switch. Uh, then of course I got some of the power pole connectors some stuff to make the cables look nice. And then of course the wire connectors here that I'm gonna use. Got a little extra wire just in case. But these are the parts. Let's get started. Haven't bought the board yet because I wanted to lay it out and see how compact I can get this. So let's see, 12 volt input, 48 output. So the 48 output is gonna be going onto this PoE converter here, the plus and minus. And then that will directly connect into this thing. So that's LAN, this is the power here to here. So this will be going there to there. The dishy, Starlink dishy will actually plug directly into this. So I wanna make sure I can get this where it's easily accessible to the Starlink. So I'm gonna try to do something like this maybe. But then I gotta have this here, a converter. This is gonna be powered to 12 volt as well. So these are both 12 volt coming in. And then this is gonna go directly to the router here, like that. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to get this as compact as possible. Um, that's why I got the extra wire. I want to get this compact, but I need enough wire to get this where it needs to go. And then the switch. Is also going to be going in between here as well. So I just got to figure that out. 12 by 24. And I had them cut me two nine by nine sheets. Cause I'm actually making two kits, one for myself and one for someone else. Um, so I'm hoping I'm gonna try to fit this all in this one nine by nine sheet of half inch um, plywood. Let's see. Okay, this is my thought here. So switch to the 12 volt down converter to five for the router, 12 volt to the 48 volt for the PoE and the adapter for the dishy plug and play. This should work. It wasn't the best idea, but I did get it to stay. I'll have to work on that for the next one. Um, but for now it works. I still get the router things that come up, the antennas. So I have pretty much everything I, where I want it besides the switch, which I might just have to glue this down. Um, but yeah, time to start some wiring here. Get this wired up. Get this wired up in this little toggle here. 
I've got everything mounted. I got some the it wired up just loosely because I'm gonna go test it real quick. But I got the positive to the switch and then the negative to the uh, power source here. So I was gonna go plug it up real quick before I fix all this and I might shorten this and tie this down and shorten this as well. But just to go test to make sure I have it right. Okay, so here's my test. I actually have a power to a switch back here for mine. Um, I just toggled it on and it looks like the router came on as well as the PoE. I haven't plugged this dishy in yet. I just wanted to make sure this got power um, with the, with this switch. I mean, it has power, right? So I should be able to just plug the dishy in and it should be fine. Okay, so I have the dishy stowed right now. I just unhooked it from here and brought it back. So let's plug this in here. Okay. Oh, turn this switch on. Turn the toggle on. Okay, that came on. Let's see if the dishy moves. Okay, it's moving. It just moved. No way. All right, this is gonna take a minute. It's gonna get some service. Let's go back. So here's what I've done. Just to recap, I got a switch to this one. I'm gonna wire mine up without this switch. This is for a friend's. Um, so the power's coming in. It's doing a 12 volt to 5 volt for the router, 12 volt to 48 volt for the PoE um, with the plug and play dishy um, connector. I just got this router so I'm gonna give this a few minutes and I'll show a screenshot of the app connecting to this router and see what kind of speed we got. Okay. So I just did a speed test, it connected. I did the speed test and everything looks good. I'm gonna make the other version of this now for myself and ship this one to my friend. I'll post all the links to all these items in the description. Um, if you have any questions, just reach out. Okay, I completed number two here. I didn't do the switch because I already have one in the van, so I just did the power pole connectors. I'm going to mount it here and then give it a go. Alright, so I've got it mounted a couple days ago. I've been using it. Um, just mounted to the side of my board here in the garage. I'm plugged in. Good to go. I'm working right now. Let's just run a little speed test here. Getting up over 70, not too bad. So yeah, I'm at this park working here. And I've been using it in a couple days. Not having any, any issues. Thanks so much for watching the video. Give me a follow as I'm going to flat mount the Starling next.